Before the 20th century adoption of comparative negligence in American tort law, a plaintiff that was even slightly at fault for his or her own loss was often barred from any recovery due to the rule of contributory negligence. And the United States Supreme Court considered how contributory negligence applied to a property owner in Leroy Fiber Company versus the Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Paul Railway Company. We'll call them Leroy and the Railway. Leroy owned land next to the railway's track. Leroy stacked flax straw on the land, about 75 feet from the track. One of the railway's locomotives emitted sparks and hot cinders, which the wind carried onto the flax, setting it on fire. A quantity of the flax was destroyed. Leroy sued the railway in state court, and the railway removed the case to federal court. The district court judge instructed the jury that if Leroy negligently stored its flax too close to the tracks, Leroy would be contributorily negligent. The jury found that the railway's engineer negligently operated the locomotive, generating sparks and hot cinders. But it also found that Leroy was contributorily negligent, so its verdict was for the railway. Leroy appealed to the Eighth Circuit, which certified the case to the United States Supreme Court.